next race is going to be race 24. numbers and the results you guys packed really really well here today was that the game plan coming in you told them you know stick close together and we have a good chance to win. yeah and I think I think our bottom half is starting to come up uh, our number one Grace Griffin all season had a fluke injury and starting to come back so I mean just to, for her to step up and say hey coach I want to race today she wanted to race at Clovis we just wanted to play it safe but she really wanted to race today and she stepped up and she didn't do as well, but you know her teammates stepped up. Uh, that's what cross country is all about. You know, it takes five to score, and so I, I couldn't be more proud of our girls. We had a race plan, and they just executed that to perfection today. So. Uh, um, really proud of the girls, and I really think they ran for each other. Uh, I was going to say, when you have a plan like that, and it does come together the way you kind of envision it, what does that say about the message that you're getting across to these girls that they're able to do what you want them to? Hey, it's, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. You know, I got a little emotional earlier. I <laughs> may just get emotional again. But, uh, you know, and they just work so hard. And, you know, this is a sport that it's suffering sport and so for them to do what they did all summer and up to this point we we believe the coaches all believe they could do it and I think the girls believe they can do it and we just kind of knew it at the line when I saw their faces I just knew they had what it was going to take and uh, and then to, to execute their plan to uh, almost perfection I mean you just can't ask for more than that and I'm thinking what if Grace was up front I mean it, it's incredible and not Nothing against uh, Canyon or all the other teams. I mean, we never took anybody for granted. You know, I told the girls, it's not about the two-man, two-person team here. There's plenty of teams that can beat us today like they did last year. So just go out and execute. Just enjoy the day. Last thing I told them was go have fun. And I think they did today. 36 seconds yeah. scoring. Yeah, but I yeah. think that, that's fun. So. Last question for you. Obviously, the season doesn't end today, but this is a one that you circle on the calendar. What do you take, the positives, when you look back, what do you say, we can tweak this and get a little bit better as now we get forward and get ready for CIF and those challenges yeah. to come? Yeah. Well, I think we're right where we need to be. You know, uh, they were disappointed after Woodbridge, and we have to keep them calm. You know, so this isn't about Woodbridge. You know the plan wasn't to run fast there. That's not what it's all about. It's about 20 weeks from now or whatever, the Thanksgiving weekend. we got seven more weeks. In this sport, that's a lifetime, and we have to keep stressing that and let them know, yeah, you did well today, but we still have a lot more work. And we really haven't started. We did a little bit last week, and so I think they're starting to see the benefits of the, all the hard work they put in. So I think we have a lot more to show, but, you know, like I said, seven weeks, and uh, you never know what's going to happen. So we'll just keep trying. We're, we're sad that our boys didn't run well, and this is one team. This is not boys and girls team. They run together. They eat together. They, well, I almost said the wrong thing here. <laughs> uh, but they, they enjoy each other's company. So uh, we're sad about the boys, but they'll bounce back. They're a tough team. I believe in them. The coaches believe in them. Parents believe in them, and the team believes it. So we just need to bounce back, and, and we hope the boys will be where the girls are next week. Uh, we'll probably race next week now, but we'll see. Congratulations. Okay.